Hello, I'm Old Dresden, and I would like to welcome you to a very special edition episode of Hillbilly Hunter. I'm in Lake County today, once a haven for the classic hillbilly of the old time era. Now, it's completely taken over by people who just want to ride their dirt bikes, poles, and all sorts of motorized vehicles all over the place. I remember when the hillbilly were a peaceful folk. Used to just sit around all day drinking alcoholic beverages, playing their banjos, perusing through their junk piles. Those days are all but dead. But now, I have found a very tantalizing piece of evidence. This. An empty keg. And over here, a destroyed toilet. Junk piles for miles. And the most important thing, this. A right arm lawnmower. Non-functional, of course. But there still may be some surviving hillbillies in this once great area. Join me. Let's find them together. I fashion myself a pretty shoddy example of a hillbilly outfit, but it may be able to give me the couple seconds I need to be able to get away from a rampaging lunatic hell-bent on my death. Oh my! There, in the distance! Can you see them? Live cattle! This is an extremely good sign. We're nearing our destination. Quickly, let's continue on. Here is an example of the decline of the species Hillbillicus. It's a sad thing to see. Such a and destruction. Beautiful property. But there is still something here that's leading me further and further to my goal. Most people think that the hillbilly is a very disorganized species. Disorganized, rather. They usually focus their attention on things like random destruction. But I happen to know for a fact that is dead wrong. They leave a very distinct trail, and I'm following death. My some activity around this bend. I may have finally found my quarry. Quietly now, this way. I never thought it was going to happen like this. I've lost Terry. This has been a long journey, but I assure you, this will air nonetheless in Terry's memory.